right, so we have quite the crew here. We got Tim, we got Brett, we got Heather, we got a crew of Giants fans. How long have you all been Giants fans? Well, Tim, I don't know. You're the first one with season tickets, right? Yeah, I, I, uh, when the new stadium was built, I was on the waiting list. My whole family's on the waiting list. Uh, the old stadium, you had to be on the waiting list for about 10 years before you can get uh, seats. When they expanded, obviously, it came a little bit easier, and uh, I was able to get season tickets when they expanded. Love that. Essentially, I was a giant fan my whole life, but could never get tickets. It's impossible. That's before StubHub and all those things. And so Timmy, Timmy was the guy who got me into the game. So that was a kind of an awesome time to become a Giants fan through, through those couple of years. So thank you guys for taking the time out of your afternoon. But it's not just me that we're going to chat with today. I want to actually welcome in one of our players. Please welcome quarterback Daniel Jones. Hey, how's it going, guys? Oh, it's awesome. Hi. Guys, do you have any questions for Daniel Jones? How do you feel the season's going? I know it's tough and it's a long road, but... I feel that you guys are definitely improving week by week. Yeah, you know that's kind of that's kind of how we feel. I think when you look at uh, us week to week, you know we feel like we're we're improving, we're we're making progress, and got to stay on it. You know, the second half of the season, I think we got a lot of opportunities, and and uh, just got to finish out some of these games. But um, what do y'all think? It's it's fun to watch. I will say it's got to be the most competitive. Uh, you know, no offense to previous teams or, or quarterbacks or anything like that, but you guys definitely make it interesting. It's fun to watch. It's exciting. You know, raise your blood pressure a little bit, but we appreciate it. We appreciate you all for being fans and sticking through. And I know this is a tough season and 2020 has been a very interesting year. Uh, but DJ, I know that you have a special announcement that you want to make today. Uh, so the special announcement, Tim, you uh, have been selected as the Giants fan of the year. We appreciate all your support. Uh, it goes back, you know, a long time, long before I was up here in New York, but appreciate, appreciate all your support. And, and uh, you know, you've been awarded Giants fan of the year. So congratulations, man. Yeah, it's great. I appreciate it. It's, it's really cool, guys. Congratulations. And Tim, I just want you to know your best friend over here, Brett, actually nominated you for this award. Brett, I got to know, what, what was it about Tim? I know he pulled you into the Giants fandom and the season tickets, but what was it about this man that said, you know what, he deserves this this year? Tim is the kind of guy that would give you the shirt off his back. Absolutely the best friend that I've ever had. Um, you know, when we were when we were volunteer firefighters together, I got injured at a fire at 4 o'clock in the morning, and Tim was there before my family was even there. He's, you know, he's always been the guy that to have my back, best man of my wedding and godfather to my son. So uh, just a special human being and uh, he's well deserving of being the Giants fan of the year. Yeah, we just want to appreciate and recognize your loyalty and you know, the Giants have had their ups and downs this season, but we appreciate you sticking with us. And Tim, congratulations. I just want to let you know as this year's Giants representative, you're going to get a slew of prizes, but you'll also be entered for a chance to go to the Super Bowl. So congratulations again. That's great. Thank you, guys. That's uh, really something special. Super Bowl, buddy. Hey, yeah, I don't I'll know. get you there. Now, obviously, this year has been a little bit different. No fans in the stands at MetLife. But, Daniel, how, how much do you still feel the fan support out there? And, and, and what do you want to say to these guys? Yeah, you can, you can definitely still feel it. And, and, you know, I'd be lying to say that it, it you know, doesn't feel weird without, without them in the stadium and, and at the games. But, um, you know, we, we can feel the support, you know, even when we're on the road and, and just in, you know, in the community and, and it means a ton. And, and I know I'm speaking to a few really big Giants fans here. So uh, we really appreciate it, it means, means a ton. Thank you guys, thank you so much. Tim, congratulations again. Daniel, thank you so much for taking the time for this special moment and for these special Giants fans. And I really appreciate all of your support throughout the years, you guys, and the season ticket holders and looking forward to seeing you back in the stands soon. Of course, thank you guys. It really means a lot. Thank you, uh, uh, Dan Jones. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome to at least meet you through Zoom. I gotta say, I don't know if a lot of people do that, so I, I really appreciate it. No, I well, appreciate appreciate y'all. Appreciate you, Tim, and congrats on the uh, fan of the year. You're a deserving uh, guy, so I appreciate it, man. All right, appreciate you guys, and thank you again. Good luck in the continued drawing, but as it stands, you're a winner now, Tim. So. <laughs> <laughs>